Hello everyone, this is CY once again. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to do a second edition, uh, which is a follow-up to um, the machine, which is the Passetto Bay 02. I'm going to talk, talk to you about um, the discovery that I have with this machine. And uh, I'm going to show you, um, is this machine a good buy? And uh, who is this actually, who is this machine actually meant for? Uh, as compared to other machines such as the uh, dual boiler machines that uh, doesn't come or, or any heat exchanger machine that doesn't come with any uh, built-in grinder so let's get started so remember if you have not uh, subscribed to my channel remember to hit the subscribe button so basically today I'm going to show you um, what is so good about this machine and how is it different uh, from the other machines uh, such as the Lily Marax uh, the heat exchanger and uh, who are these machines for, right? What are their target audience? So this is something that I want to talk about today. So first of all, let me show you um, the Bassetto O2. Right, so let's first talk about um, the built-in grinder, right? If you have uh, watched my previous video, right, I mentioned that the grinder, it doesn't grind uh, fine enough, but um, there's actually something uh, we can do as a seller and the uh, authorized dealer for this machine, we can actually adjust the grind size for you. And now you can actually grind the coffee, uh, any kind of coffee you can grind. Um, you can actually, uh, you can also do like light roasted coffee, dark roasted coffee, right? It doesn't matter what kind of coffee you put inside. And you will, you will have no problem grinding fine enough to extract the espresso. So this is really a, something that uh, uh, I have discovered over the usage of the maybe for the past two weeks or so uh, I've learned that the grinder is super efficient in grinding coffee the noise is very low and uh, almost uh, very little retention right uh, later on I'll, I'll uh, pull a shot and let you see uh, how the extraction is and another good thing about this machine is the startup time so this is a cold start I have not started the machine at all so I'm just going to press start Right, so the machine will not be ready until uh, this light actually started to turn green color. It shows you that the hot water and the steam is ready. So now we'll wait for about, probably about a minute or so, and then the machine is going to be ready. So while waiting for the machine to get ready, let me talk about uh, who is this machine for. Right, basically this machine, you can see has a built-in grinder. Uh, pretty much all you need uh, uh, for a good cup of coffee is is, is it ha you, you have it in this machine the you have it the grinder you have the um, pressure gauge for you to see the uh, pressure as you pull a shot it has um, single and double uh, cup options and you can actually program it to adjust uh, and you can also adjust the temperature so um, in the future video I'll show you how the temperature can be customized and of course this is also a PID machine and what is the benefit of this machine over some other machines for example like the um, the Breville Barista Pro or the Barista uh, Express series uh, this is actually a dual thermal a dual thermal block machine whereby you can actually brew and steam at the same time and I have also discovered that the steam wand is actually an anti-burn steam wand so as you steam this steam uh, tube here will be cool to touch will be maybe get slightly warmer but the steam tip is going to be extremely hot so be careful with this tip here this tip will be very hot but the steam body the tube here will be pretty cool to touch maybe it gets a little bit warm but it will be safe to touch here but this is going to be super hot here right so this is something that is really good uh, the drip tray is pretty uh, decent size whereby you can uh, actually put uh, quite a bit of water and inside the drip tray there's actually a stationary uh, the toolbox inside there right, let me show you this is where the toolbox is and this two box is separated from the drip tray uh, which means that these two boxes will never get wet so you can actually put your extra basket inside here so you can see it comes with some too uh, I think this is uh, for you to clean the steam tip let's say uh, you didn't clean your steam tip properly after steaming you can use this one to actually uh, poke through the steam tip and clean off the steam tip there and there's uh, some brush here and uh, something uh, whereby you can see this part here this round I think this is meant for you to put your filter, extra filter basket here. So this is quite good. Um, from my experience of using Preview, uh, my, I think my tray is sort of a rectangular tray which they push it all the way to the back. But the tray sometimes get wet because of the 
the three ways on about purging the steam as, as well as water back into the drip tray so uh, sometimes it get wet uh, so uh, I don't usually put anything uh, at the at the toolbox at the back of the drip tray but this one will never get wet because uh, the compartment is separated from the drip tray itself right so as we speak you can see the machine is really ready uh, so oh sorry this is a white color LED light not the green color one so once this light is on right you are able to start uh, making coffee. So right now I'm going to show you uh, the grind quality as well as um, uh, the basic operation and the grind size. So currently you can see that my grind setting is at about 19. Why is it about 19? The coarser setting here is about 35. Uh, the final setting here is uh, I think it's sub 0 minus 5 here. So that is the minimum you can go. So I can show you that previously I have the grind at about less than 5. And I still couldn't get the grind setting right when I, I couldn't dial in the coffee beans. But now we have no problem with that because I have adjusted. Uh, as the distributor of this machine, we are able to adjust the grinder for you. So before we ship out the machine, we'll adjust the grinder so that you, know, you can uh, definitely grind whatever coffee you, you, you need. So right now, let me show you uh, the basic operation of this machine. Alright, so now I will show you the basic operation of this machine. So now I have uh, placed my handphone uh, on a hands-free set so that I can actually uh, demo to you uh, the basic um, functions of the machine. So very simple, normally before I start, I will actually uh, run a blind shot. And I will bring you closer. So that is the loudest you can hear on the grinder when you pull a shot. The pump is pretty silent. So um, it is quite a decent and quiet machine. So if you're afraid that uh, when you use the machine, you can wake up your family members uh, in the morning, right? You don't have to worry so much about it because it's a pretty quiet machine because it comes with a very quiet pump. Uh, this is definitely a vibratory pump. So um, yeah. Uh, because normally an uh, all-in-one machine, like a bin to cup machine, um, usually they will come with a uh, vibratory and not as uh, high-end as uh, the rotary bump that uh, some machine offers. So now after I put a shot, so let me get my dry cloth. So I will probably dry the powder filter. Now the powder filter is uh, nice and hot. So let me show you the uh, the grind quality of this machine. So now I will grind the coffee directly to the powder filter and you will see uh, the condition of the grind. there's a slight over spill here right you can see there's some spillage here but it's actually very minimal um i would suggest you probably dose in the cup if you want to measure the coffee ground very very grinded because currently i just stored some coffee beans inside the hopper so uh, let's take out uh, the powder filter and let you see uh, so i have to be a little bit careful because uh, you can see there's a tiny mountain there so this is actually the condition of the grind, which is pretty decent, I would say. So let me bring it over to my... Uh, I do not have a, a temping station yet, which I'm, I'm probably going to get one. So let me just put it over here. So let you see the grind quality here. So uh, you can see that there's no clumping at all. So um, the grinder actually produces very, very fluffy grind. All right, so now I will proceed to uh, sort of uh, level the coffee ground and then temp and then we'll pull a shot. Right, so I will just gently uh, remove all the excess and then uh, try to cut the, all the coffee ground to the center right then I'll just do a distribution
Right, as you can see, I do not use any WDT because my uh, needle WDT2 is not here yet. Uh, I will probably be bringing some to my office shortly. So this is actually a self-leveling uh, temper. So, uh, you know, so you can see the tamping is pretty okay. And I'm just going to put the shower screen on top. And then let's uh, pull a shot on the machine. Alright, so let's lock up the portal filter. two cups and I'm going to show you our attempt to actually uh, froth the milk at the same time so uh, just give me a second let me get milk and a pitcher So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to start the shot and then steam the milk at the same time. Ah, before that I forgot to perch. Right, observe the shot quality is actually pretty good. Okay, this angle is a bit weird, but then uh, I will slowly bring my uh, tripod so that I can give you a better angle. Uh, in fact, the coffee ground uh, is, uh, is I've grinded the coffee slightly finer, uh, but the shot looks pretty decent. Right, it's uh, flowing slightly slower than I expected. So now the shot has been pulled, and uh, the steam tip is a single uh, hole steam tip, so it will take slightly longer for me to texture the milk. But this is perfect for beginner. Uh, if you are first time using the espresso machine, this machine allows you to texture your milk to perfection, and you can really uh, slowly do it. Uh, and as compared to other machines that I have, uh, this actually gives me ample time to texture the milk, and uh, I'm able to produce the uh, very uh, very silky and very pain like kind of uh, uh, texture for the milk. So after that, I'll just do a you can see that I'm now touching the thin one, right? It's actually uh, it's still slightly hot, so be careful. I uh, just now I mentioned that uh, it is a uh, um, it is um, cool to touch, but uh, you can still touch it, but it will not burn your hand. Uh, if you if you just push it a little bit, it's quite okay. But if you hold on to the steam uh, steam uh, body for a longer time, you will still get a little bit hot. So um, yeah, it is not as what. Uh, the Mara X has, whereby, whereby you know you get a very really cool to touch thin one. This will still get pretty warm, right? But it will not be uh, so hot that you cannot touch it. So if you actually touch it, it will not burn you, right? But the tip is going to be very hot. Right. So now let me show you the uh, milk, which is actually pretty good. Um, the texture is probably um, on the machine. It's quite easy to texture the milk. So let me try to uh, show uh, Okay, the cup is a bit small, but I will give it a try. Okay, it's a bit too, slightly too for me, but it is a very, very decent shot. Okay, let me try the second one. Right, let you see the crema is good. This is the light roasted coffee bean, which I have uh, roasted, uh, which is actually my Yunnan red wine series, roasted on the, I believe it's on the 31st of October. It's a light roast. So you can see that it can actually effectively grind light roasted coffee bean, which usually tend to be harder. Alright, so something like that. So you can see that it's definitely capable of uh, making a good latte, the milk-based coffee. So on the on the overall, this is actually a, a 
in my opinion, a much better machine than some of uh, the bin to cut machine in the market. Uh, it is pretty well, not well, uh, pretty not known in the market because this brand Basetto is actually pretty new. But as you can see now, I'm only grinding at a setting of 19. I can actually grind finer, but as you can see on the short quality, it's already dripping very slowly. So in fact, I have to grind slightly coarser. So this is definitely capable of uh, producing a very fluffy ground. And uh, if you are... Okay, now I should talk about why uh, why would you buy this machine versus probably the Lelit Marax? Oh, this is a performer. This is definitely a very good machine. Um, but the main difference is this machine takes about 20 to 25 minutes to warm up. And it doesn't have uh, any smart features for you to uh, switch on the machine and uh, get it ready for you when you wake up. Of course, you can get a smart switch or some, some sort of uh, gadget that allows you to switch on the machine at the time that you like. But it, the machine doesn't come with it. So if you want to wake up and machine to use the machine immediately, you can't do that because it takes about 25 minutes to heat up. Uh, as you can see just now, I was, I was uh, setting up the Bassetto. I actually switched on this machine. Now the machine is actually ready to brew. So what is the main difference between this? Of course, this is Italian made. Um, on the overall, everything is stainless steel. So you can see the quality is uh, different. The build quality is different. The material use is different. This machine costs $2,000 without a grinder. And it comes with a standard E61 group. Uh, this is a PID machine. There's three settings of PID. You can go low, medium, high on the temperature setting. You can also do an adjustment at the side so that you can actually pro uh, brewing or you can do a setting for pro steaming. So normally I will set the setting at pro brewing so that it gives you more uh, power to brew the coffee instead of producing steam. And standard, it comes with a steam uh, non-burn. This is definitely non-burn, right? You can It's cool to touch. So you can actually hold on to this steam, steam one and you will not get burned. But of course, the steam tip is still going to be very hot. And of course, this side is the hot water. So if the hot water is on one side, uh, the steam is on the other side. And of course, the steam and hot water is engaged by the traditional, you know, uh, the, the turn kind of a knob. Whereas if you look at the Bassetto, Right, this is for people who are who want the machine to be ready in less than a minute, and uh, you need to uh, and you do not want to purchase a separate grinder, and it doesn't mean that without a separate grinder the coffee quality will be affected. I'm quite surprised by the performance of the grind viewing grinder, um, which can grind uh, easily get the grind setting that you want. Um, as compared to some other models, for example, like Barista Express and Barista Pro with the built-in grinder. So this grinder is, surprises me. Um, yeah, so um, I think this grind, uh, this this Bassetto Bay O2, right, which is, uh, I would say, it is not a beginner machine, but it has a lot of beginner-friendly features uh, because, you know, you have a standard pressure. You can actually see the pressure while you brew. You can actually um, brew and steam at the same time. And this functions, these features are only available in some of the higher end machine. And if you are comparing this to the, to the Breville, right, the, the machine that are able to do um, steaming and uh, brewing at the same time, uh, I think the minimum is actually the Breville dual boiler. And that is going to cost you around close to $2,000 in Singapore without a grinder. Right, so this is a built-in grinder, a very capable built-in grinder, conical one, and uh, able to steam and brew at the same time. And it uses thermal block, and of course everybody knows that a thermal block, uh, what, what's the advantage of a thermal block? It basically draws water um, uh, and heats up the water uh, as you go to the coil. And um, yep, it also comes with a very decent uh, water tank, which is 2.8 liters. I think some of my Italian machines don't even have up to 2.5 liters of water. So this is definitely a very uh, beginner friendly machine, but the features are definitely not beginners. Uh, these features are actually quite advanced uh, and advanced user can also get very, very decent shot from this machine. So if you are advanced user, uh, of course you can actually buy the uh, Marax, right? Of course you want to buy a Marax, you have to buy a very good grinder to pair with it. And uh, currently, uh, I think the DF64 is probably one of the good grinder that can pair with the uh, this uh, Lelit Marax and any 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 machine that doesn't come with a built-in grinder. Uh, yep. So currently, this is what I have for you. Thank you for joining me today. This is CY once again. And if you are interested to find out any other machines in the market or you want to find out any machine that we sell, 
right, please contact us, right? You can actually uh, email us at speedy3dcreations at gmail.com, right? Uh, to inquire about any machine that we're selling. Currently, we are selling the Bassetto, which is a dual boiler. Uh, uh, I, will not, I will not say it's a dual boiler. It's probably a 1.5 because it comes with a double dual thermal block. And uh, yep, comes with a built-in grinder, right? This is our um, beginner model for uh, also a, uh, comes with a uh, a small uh, brewing brewing tank, right? Or what do you call it? Brew boiler, and it comes with a thermal block for steaming. So this one also, uh, this is also an uh, uh, this also allows you to do a uh, brew and steam milk at the same time. And of course, on the next sale, by the way, this is the EM nineteen M three from Molesto, also made in China. The next machine is the next machine is actually the EM twenty three, right? Uh, which is uh the different main difference is actually uh you are able to adjust the PID temperature. But this one, this one is PID, which maintain the temperature for you, but you are not able to change the temperature of this machine. But the EM23 allows you to change the temperature to whatever setting you like. So basically, that is the main difference between these two. And of course, you can see that the build quality is different. There's a bit, there's quite a big jump in quality from the Molesto EM19 M3 to the EM20 to the EM23. And the next jump will be from EM23 to EM30. Right, this is a plumb uh, machine, but you can also use external water tank. This machine come doesn't come with a built-in water tank. And uh, previously, we have uh, delivered an EM40. Right, uh, this is a very very powerful machine, and um, yep, it's uh, one of our latest addition, which uh, we're going to share with you later on. Right, and of course, uh, very soon we're going to bring in more machine here. This counter here only has uh, Lelit Marax. Uh, very soon, we're going to bring uh, the Lily Bianca, uh, the Lily Elizabeth, Elizabeth, and then we're going to bring our BBM, uh, Donobar Junior, and the Donobar Super, as well as the Quick Meal Rubino. So, and we'll have one counter over there that showcase all our grinder that we are selling. Right, so this is pretty exciting. Um, so, uh, once our showroom is ready, right, we will let you guys know so if you are in Singapore and if you're interested to pay us a visit and to to sort of uh, look at all these machines before you decide which one you're going to buy or which one you prefer uh, or consider getting in the future right do drop us a message or you can actually email us uh, again the, our email is actually speedy 3d creations which is spelled as s p e d y 3 d uh, c r e a t i o n s at gmail.com so you can Email us and we will try to get back to you as soon as possible and maybe arrange a viewing if you like. Because now, uh, during the COVID-19 period, we try to make it safe for everyone. So right now, our viewing is only by appointment. Right, so thank you John, for joining me today. Right, this is CY. Remember to hit the subscribe button and the like button as well. So I will see you in the next video. I will probably be doing the mail right uh, and I'll try to use uh, all this uh, grinder that doesn't come with an uh, uh, oh sorry use all this machine that doesn't come with a grinder and show you the capabilities of the mail right versus some of the other grinders in the grinding of espresso and is it worth getting a hand grinder to grind espresso for yourself right so thank you for joining me I will see you in the next video and stay safe